Hey, what's going on, everybody? We'll give it a few minutes just to get people in. We'll give it a few minutes so people come in. Yo, what up, what up, okay, we're going to give it a few minutes of people walk in and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. There we go. Hey, what's up, Mark? What's going on? We're going to be, uh, hiking. I'm just, you know how it is, guys, just tired of doing stuff so late sometimes. So we're gonna go on this trail here. It's called the Rocky Mountain Loop Trail. And it goes, like I'm literally right here. And then we're gonna go around the historic railroad trail. It's gonna go just all around. So. Yeah, so we're gonna go. So right here, guys, here's uh, Lake Mead. You guys will be able to see it. Yeah, it's not looking that great, but. But let me know if the stream is good. Hey, yo, what up, TM? What's going on? What's going on, Brian? Yo, blow. Yo, do. Make sure my car is locked. Okay, all right, cool. Got to make sure the car is locked, you feel me? But yeah, we're going to we're going to do we're we're going to chill. We'll do some testing. We're just going to go here and and go through this trail. It's smooth. All right, cool. We, I think we should be good this time, not like the last time where we had issues. You feel me? <laughs> hey, yo, what up, Jerry? What's going on? Yeah, the last time it was, that, that was pretty bad, how the stream, like, just kept crashing every moment. Yeah, that was wild. So let's see here. I'm going to just check. Make sure that on my end it looks good. Let's see. Let's see here. Wow, it shows you can do 1080. Oh, wow. Okay. I had it at 720, but I guess. Screw it. Oh, cool, so it's smooth. Yeah, guys, here's uh, the infamous Lake Mead. You know, maybe we'll be able to get a little bit closer, but let me see if I can zoom in from here. Let's see here, it's a little photo lens. You guys can see it, look at how, look at how low that is. You can see the bathtub ring all around it's crazy all those all those white hills that you see right there and all that all that used to be in water years ago here let me put this back on regular view yeah, it's going to be a little bit breezy so the gimbal might act up on me from time to time sorry about that in advance How's everybody doing this afternoon or early evening for y'all in the east? How are you guys doing over there? Yeah, it's low. It's low there, Mark. Here, let me put this mic a little bit up. There we go. Eight twenty-three. It's six twenty-three here. But yeah, you know, we always doing stuff hella late at night, you know. So I'm just like, you know what, man? 
just gonna do some in the daytime. You know, hopefully it doesn't interrupt anybody. But I'm just tired of having to do everything so late at night all the time. <laughs> Mr. Zero Cool, bro. Hey, I think I found I think I found us a, a person. For that uh that test that test that you needed <laughs> yeah bro we have to figure that we have to figure that out you know you know how that works all right so let's see here Let's pull out some phones and let's test. Do a little bit of testing. Let's see here. Where the heck, where the heck are these phones? All right, here. All right, so here we go. Here is Dish. So we are not in Vegas right now. So here, let me put the. So just to give you guys a comparison, what Dish is doing out here. Look at that! Wow. Not bad. Two hundred eighty-four on the down. Dude, Dish is actually doing good here. So 284 by 27.8. Hold on, let me wipe the camera lens real quick. I think the camera lens is a little bit dirty. There we go. That'll probably help right there, let's see. There we go, 284 by 27.8. Here, let's test it again. There you go, 49 ping for a jitter. You see, this is the one thing that I noticed. Why on the speed test app, when you speed test right away after, it messes up? Because look, that's what I've noticed about speed test app. I don't know what's up with this new, with this new app. Look, you change the server, it'll be fine. See? Like, I don't, I don't get this. Well, that goes 37.9. Oh, you notice that as well too, uh, Zero Cool? Yeah. So 37.9 by 29.2, 49 ping, three jitter. But yeah, dude, this freaking app, dude. They did this update, bro, and it just, they made, they made it like suck, bro. Like, yes, it shows the better stats, which is nice. But at the same time, it's like, damn. This time we came prepared, guys. We came prepared. We brought water with us. So we're prepared. This is the water I recommend anybody to drink. There's some good stuff right here. It's good to have the pH level up. pH 9.0 and up is good for you. Hydrates you better. All right, let's grab phones. Let's see here. Why is it not on 5G? Let's see here. Okay, 38 ping for jitter on Verizon LTE. Oh no, now I changed to 5G. 
Okay, so on DSS. Yo, what up, big term, what's going on? So 87.9 on the down. Oh, four day weekend, nice. And 24.6 on the up. Wow, I'm surprised it's not working here, huh? Let's test it again real quick. Huh, that's weird. Let me check my other line real quick because you know what's interesting? Yeah, I thought so. So my other line, it shows 5G Ultra Wideband. I don't know why this one's not picking it up. Maybe I need to reboot it. So here, reboot. And this is a new site too out here. Let's see here. Well, that's why the 2005 Unlimited plan is better. Anyways. Oh wow, but the speeds are no good. 32 ping, eight jitter. This is on the rooftop on top of the the bol the Boulder Dam Casino. 98.7 by 33.7 on the up. Um, we can airplane mode it real quick. Let's see. Spot. Yeah, it could be a fake icon, yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because what's crazy is, oh, there you go, it picks it up. There we go. So 244 down, and then we'll test it one more time just because it kicked on late. Yo, what up, Kim on? What's going on? What's up, speed testing? What's up? All right, we'll do one more. Hey, what up, Dennis? What's going on? 14 ping, one jitter. There we go. Just everything. I'm just just walking, bro. Just just hiking. I decided I'm like, dude, I'm always doing this shit late at night, man. I want to catch, uh, like, might as well do it in the day. 210 by 30.2. There it is. The, the ultra wideband is on top of this right here. Let me put the top photo. You see that casino right there? It's on the rooftop of that casino right there. So that's where Verizon has their N77 at. Ah, it's freaking windy. Man, can never get a break from these winds, man. But that's Lake Mead right there. Can never get a guess, a break from the damn winds. Yeah, it's about, I'm about, let's say, two and three quarters, no, about three miles. Yeah, about three miles, line of sight. Yeah. All right, let's pull out T-Mobile. That's what came out of my bag. We got UC. Lavendi. There you go. We got some UC action. 21 ping for jitter. All right. Not bad. Three oh three down.
by 14.1 on the up. Uh, I do. The si the sim is in. Uh, it's behind the case on one on my phone. On one of them. Yeah. Oh, I should have brought the Pixel with that phone. I just I took some of the phones out of my bag, bro. Just carrying a big ass bag. Like not a big ass bag, but you know, carrying the bag with you while you're gonna do a a four. This I think this trail is what like three miles, four miles. All right, AT and T. But I can pop the sim in real quick. Yup, the F35. Yes, sir. The 52 ping nine jitter on their low band. Hey, Collective Raw, what's up, man? 13.1. Well, AT&T is ass out here. I mean, it'll work. It works. We'll give them that much. So 13.1 by 8.93 on the up. Oh, it went back to LTE. Gotta love that. Let's test the LTE. Forty-one ping, twenty-nine jitter. Ah, oh, the LT is better. A lot better. Sometimes I swear the five G stuff, man. Sometimes it feels like it's a deflator. And yes, we're wearing the merch shirt today. Use a broke bitch. <laughs> Fifty-nine point one. By 0.27 on the up. You should get an electric scooter there. Hell no, bro. I got I got I got all the power I need, bro. It's my feet. I like to walk, bro. I can't be lazy, bro, using an electric scooter to get around, bro. If that's the case, I might as well bring my damn uh, Polaris out here and, and use the Polaris, my ATV. I could have just brought the truck with the trailer and the ATV and just came out here. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you can see the lake. That shit's crazy, man. We send out 40 billion overseas, but we can't take care of the problems in our own nation. It's crazy. Yeah, bro, I got them, bro. I just keep them in I just keep them in the store on the storage unit. Cuz no room at the casa. So I got like literally like a spot at the storage where I keep them parked. Got KTM, KTM 450, little four-wheeler quad. Got a couple Yamaha dirt bikes. Let's see here buy a Samsung Note 7. Bro, that's like buying a bomb. <laughs> Hopefully it rains, man. These clouds are looking promising. Well, it's, if it rains, at least it'll rain right here onto the lake. It's looking a little bit promising since, you know, we, we, we gotta send 40 billion out to another country and we can't use it for our own. What up, Wes? <laughs> Imagine, bro, using a Note 7. Jeez, that thing will be a bomb. Literally, that thing will blow up. What up, Joshua? What's going on, bro, Mr. Headset? <laughs> I swear that, that freaking name haunts you for life, bro. Mr. Dotson, 300ZX. <laughs> 
That name haunts you for life, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what Dish is doing out here. 50 ping, four jitter. If it decides to clear up. Thirty four point six on the down. So we're not aggregating on band twenty on um, band sixty six. This is just seventy one alone. I can tell. <laughs> it's finally that turbo. So thirty four point six by twenty two on the upload, guys. And then uh I know there's cert there's two certain individuals watching. I appreciate you for hooking it up with some watch hours, you know, watching in. But one of them should maybe uh, should maybe be walking like me, you know, you feel me? Go on the trails. Cuz he tries to claim that I'm a that I'm a that I'm a fat lard. It takes one to know one, right buddy? I know you're watching. You should have been aborted and spit out like the disease you are, my boy. But that's all I got to say about that. Let's see here. Let's pull out. I'm, I'm going to pop the sim in real quick for Xfinity Mobile. Why not? Let me, put, let me pop the sim in real quick. Dennis, should I pop it into the... I'm going to pop it into the iPhone. The iPhone will be faster. Because the Android then it has to reboot and all that BS. Plus at and is not even working that great here anyways. So. Oh yeah, bro. Um, Mr. Alternate is uh, his, uh, his cockeyed boy is. Yeah, it's better just to do this one because AT&T sucks here anyway, so it don't matter. Don't matter if I have an AT&T sim on a phone right now or not. We'll see here. Pop the sim out. There you go. Hey, damn, thank you so much, Oceanic Vibes, bro. Thank you so much. And, yeah, glad to have you on the on the live, too, bro. Sometimes you do catch them, though. Sometimes you do, but I know, I know you're working, bro. Everybody's busy. Everybody has a busy life. But thank you. I appreciate you, man. All right. We got to uh, decide later. I gotta make sure that the 5G is turned on. Do, do, do. Xfinity. There you guys go. Xfinity. And Torrell. <laughs> Why is it not picking it up? Hold on, let me start a speed test. No, I don't want you to be on my hotspot. Then it'll tank the damn live stream. Let's see here. Let me turn off the hot the Wi-Fi. All right, let's see. Oh, there's a 5G icon, and there you go. It's on ultra wideband. Xfinity. I forgot it doesn't show you W. 46 ping, 4 jitter. 489 down. And 41 up. But remember, guys, it will not show the icon for the ultra wideband. That's the only thing about it. US Mobile does on Android. 
if you use the physical SIM card on US Mobile, even on the iPhone actually, as long as you use the physical SIM. Okay, 29 ping, four jitter. Damn, Joshua, thank you so much, bro. Saying we are live, baby. Thank you, bro, appreciate you, man. So 540 down. Yeah, Mr. Lovendi. So 540 by 36.8 on Xfinity Mobile. Uh, no, I have not, bro. I really haven't been blowing it up, bro, because I'm scared. Because if I blow it up, you know how I am when I blow shit up. <laughs> Term, terms and conditions will possibly be violated. And I don't want to screw something up. So that's why I've been really gentle. Really? Your US mobile doesn't show it? That's weird. Because mine mine does. On the one plus and on my Galaxy I showed it. Hold on. Let me get this phone, the Ver the regular Verizon. Postpaid. The Enterprise. Damn speed test that takes forever. Jesus. 15 ping one jitter. And there you go, that's Enterprise. Still comparable to Xfinity. 606 down. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So 606 down and 36.6 on the up. Not bad. All right, so All right, so what we're going to do is now since Dennis is saying give me the green light on something real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Xfinity hotspot. All right. So we're going to turn it on the hotspot. Hotspot check. And then I'm going to connect it to my other phone. See here. All right, then if you give me the green light, bro. You guys saw it here. He gave me the green light. He said, don't worry, buddy. You got this. All right. Let's see, is it connecting? Why does it keep connecting to the router, dude? What the heck? It keeps connecting to my hotspot router. Let me hit forget this network, forget. There you go. All right. He says he's gonna He's gonna warn me. All right, all right. Yep, I got the green light, bro. That's all that matters. Hold on, guys. I'm just trying to get it to connect real quick. All right, come on. Off, two, three, four, five, on. All right, come on. There we go. All right, it's on. All right, Xfinity hotspot. Ah, shows it as Verizon, nice. 24 ping, eight jitter. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Hotspot is full speed. So 446 down. And 38.3 on the up. Now let's go to detailed view. 
Let's see, will I be able to use this to live stream? Yes, I could. All right, this is looking good. All right, let's do another one. Let's do a comparison. All right, 21 ping four jitter. Oh shit, okay, okay. All right, Xfinity, I see what you're doing. Four eighty nine and thirty one point six on the upload. Not bad. It's not bad at all. Now let's check video. You know how it is, guys. We gotta check that video. Oh wow, the video's uncapped, huh? Five hundred and sixty on the video. We'll do another one just to make sure. Four seventy. Yep, that's uncapped for sure. For damn sure. Now, this is the one we're gonna actually tax a little bit on here. So let me download the app real quick. We're gonna do an M perf. Yeah, literally in the middle of the desert. Hey, what up, Andrew? Yeah, that's Verizon for you, man. They just make it happen. All right, we're gonna do the Mperf test. It downloaded really fast. We're gonna do a full test. Hold on, I gotta put this. There we go. What up, James? What's going on, brother? So we have a maximum of 403, a maximum of 41 on the upload with an average, uh, whatever it was. We'll, we'll see here the results here in a sec. that down a little bit there you guys go it's on Wi-Fi so you guys know it's on the hotspot since we know the video is uncapped it should be able to do all three no problem yeah I think it was 29 average Dennis too Oh wow, that's a good score. 132,614. Streaming 97.06%. Browsing 82.3. And this is all hotspot. Average 358 by 33.9. An average ping of 38, but it did get 29. And then a jitter average of 20. Not bad at all. And they ran it off the San Francisco one gigabit server. All right, so what we'll do now is let me grab, actually, let me take it off the hotspot on here, and then let's do, let me hotspot to the other phone and see how it compares hotspot to hotspot. Let's see here. So we'll turn off the Xfinity as the hotspot. Now we turn on the, this one right here, the ultra wide band. See here on the Enterprise, turn on Bluetooth, yeah, okay. Let's see here, Wi-Fi, come on. There we go, yeah, it's labeled as Boost because I used to use it as a Boost line. Um, you know, you know. Okay, so now it's Hotspot, you guys see. Oh, so now it's Hotspotting off the Enterprise plan. 
So now I gotta download nperf. Yeah, they got them in the rocks, bro. They're rocking it. Let's see here. Oh no, I need mperf. It would help if I spelt it correctly. There we go. Okay, it's downloaded. Check. Open. Let's do an mperf test. We'll start off different first. All right. Launch the full test, baby. Let's go. It's probably a little sort of tower. I wish I had a tower right now with me that I can carry nonstop. That should be nice. Would be nice. Just saying, just throwing it out there. AMS, uh, hold on, let's see here. Really? $29.95 a month? No way. That, dude, that's, that's just, dude, that's rape. T-Mobile, no service? Ah, oh, they got service. They got service, bro. We, we have some ultra capacity from them. Damn, MS. Damn, that's crazy, dude. All right, let's see the results. 135,221, an average of 450 on the down, and an average of 41.6. Average jitter, or, or average ping 34 with an average jitter of four. Browsing 82 and 97 on streaming. So let's compare those results to both. Let's see here. Did I, please don't tell me I closed the, oh no, I did not close the Imperf app, good. Okay, so to the left is Enterprise Verizon hotspot to the right is Xfinity hotspot. Pretty damn comparable. Pretty damn comparable, I can say. It's not off by much. So, is it is it good? Yeah, it's good. I could say it's good. It's hot and spicy. Now let's do a, a regular speed test. Yeah, you might as well just buy the modem if you're paying that much. Jeez, that's that's freaking that's bullshit, dude. So 20 ping and the one jitter on the hotspot. Four thirty-three down. Uh, the gimbal keeps drifting because of wind. And the upload, come on, upload. There you go, 34.8. Not bad. Now, the fast. So each plan gets uncapped on the ultra wide run. That's not bad. Not bad. So 520 on the first one. We'll do one more just to make sure. Come on. And 440. Not bad. So they both work good. So either way, guys, now you know. Xfinity Mobile, if you can get in your area and you don't want to pay Verizon prices, it works. So... Now, let me put the AT&T SIM back in just so we have an iPhone for AT&T. Actually, you know what? I can just use the Android for AT&T. Screw it. Screw it. Man, at and is not even going to be that great here anyway. So it's not like it matters. So grab the water. And then we'll just start walking some. 
Still got a long ways to go. So let's see here, let's pull out T-Mobile since somebody, Mr. James was like, T-Mobile, no service. All right, let's see. No, they're on LTE. We just had a, uh, we just had ultra capacity. What the heck happened? Well, James, uh, Oh, there you go. Now the 5G icon just kicked on. Okay. So there you go, 19.2. 46 ping, 5 jitter. And 1.08 on the upload. Do we have any loss? Damn, we had 35% loss. Yeah. That's, uh, that's T-Mobile. How do you feel about that one, James? <laughs> I am a little too far north to get cable. Town south of me has internet only. $79.95 for five down, one up. Damn. Plus mandatory rental fee, $29.99. Dude, that's $110 a month. Holy moly. That's messed up. Hey, yo, TJ, what's going on? Dude, that is so messed up that you literally got to pay $110 a month for literally five by one. Bro, you're better off paying Starlink. You're, you, you can, even if you don't, let's say if you're in a cell that's, that's full, it's $135 a month. To have the roaming on with the roaming. You're better off paying that. <laughs> Jeez, bro. See guys, now you can see the bathtub ring around the lake here. Let me zoom in. See like that bathtub ring around it. Yeah, they're literally taking you to the cleaners, man. So that hill, so if you see those hills right there and all that, all that used to be underwater. But now we have it to where the, right, what is it? The US water, agriculture, whatever. They basically said F Lake Mead, we just keep, we, we keep the water in Powell and we won't release none in Lake Mead this year. So that's that's like literally where I'm at right here. Yeah, it's Lake Mead, bro. So you guys can see, look. So Boulder Island, which is right there, okay? So this is Boulder Island right here. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. So Boulder Island is right there, that middle one right there. So that's Boulder Island, all right, as they call it. This is how it was in 1985. And in 2009, that's how low it got. That's when we started getting the bathtub ring, was in 2009. Oh, they're asking for more? 
They need to get the hell out of here, man. They need to get out of here with that BS, bro. I swear. I need to stop helping them, dude. I'm sorry, man. Other countries need to step up to help them, too. It ain't just us. We need help here. But yeah, Collective Rob, this is uh, this is Lake Mead. Well, Lake Mead Hoover Dam around. So what I'm doing is I'm walking the trail around it all. And then here's our marina. The one of the marinas right there. Like literally they had to push the marina. Every time the water gets lower and lower, they're pushing it more and more in. Yeah, it sucks, don't get me wrong, but I feel bad for the people. But at the same time, our people need help too. Oh, let me know when you're here, Collective Rob. Just let me know when you're in town, bro. Like in, we'll go do some stuff. If you're a nature kind of person, we can go do some nature stuff too. Guys, I've been like on this uh, on this soup, water, diet. It's crazy, man. Like literally, that's all I eat is like soup. I started like three days ago. Smoothies. So for lunch, I have a smoothie. And then sometimes I'll have a soup for dinner or not. Yesterday, I kind of cheated. I ate mushrooms. It's okay. Like, you know, like boiled some mushrooms and ate them. But yeah, that shit really does help, man. Then I'm down to one to two Pepsis every day or every other day. Been mainly drinking like water and, and Sprite or 7-Up, whichever one's available at the time. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I can feel the cleansing, bro. I feel more awake. Yeah, bro, we're, we're literally down. Okay, so there's, tw there's 17 turbines on the hydroelectric plant in, in uh, Hoover Dam. So the water levels are so low, 12 of them are shut down right now. So there's only five left that are working. And there's literally, they said it's 3.4 feet acre, acre feet or whatever, of water left that's keep it, keeping those, those the turbines spinning, those last five. So they did, a, they did calculations. So we go through a three feet acre every 90 days of water. So in 90 days, so by the end of summer at the latest, those turbines will be out of water. So that means bye-bye power. So that means we're gonna be like having like blackouts all the time. Oh no, guess I'm not I'm not starving myself, bro. I just I'm doing it because I'm bulking up more. It's like, it's like a thing to bulk up more, bro. So now, so I lost, I lost weight, which is good. So now I'm in the, I'm in the, was it 171 from 185? So that's not bad. I'm trying to get to 165. And then I've been turning all that into bulk, bro. My arms got, my arms are bigger now. It's good. Oh, 
Oh, David, I've been, trust me, bro. I've been cutting it down, bro. I've been cutting it down. <laughs> I've been cutting down the Pepsis, bro. I mean, I'll drink 7-Up, you know, don't get me wrong, or Sprite. But at least it's better than being all wired up with the caffeine. At least now with all this cleansing, it's like I have more of a natural, uh, a natural, uh, how do you call that? Like natural, like the, it's like having natural caffeine, you know? Like I, I feel more awake, feel better. We need to start building more power stations, yeah. I mean, there is, I mean, I look at it like this, all the, all the nuclear that gets dumped into the Pacific Ocean by Guam, instead of dumping the spent nuclear there, maybe they could build a nuclear power plant, which nuclear would be safer than coal. And we can actually uh, produce high levels of power with that, with less pollution than coal and we would need less power plants to do the same that we uh, to our coal counterpart. But of course, they they don't think of that. They their solution is solar panels and and uh, windmills, which is killing our bird ecosystem because they're putting too many in one spot, and then they have the big ass poles that they put on it with the shiny acres that brings like, basically it'll be like this, it'll put the power from one end to the other end, the, the sunbeams, the solar rays. And then when birds are flying over it, they die. No solar farms, all you see is nothing but dead birds there all the time. Forty-nine ping for jitter dish. And it is on native network. Thirty-one point four. Signal might get a little bad right here. Six point three six on the up. And you guys can see we are on native dish. Do another test. I think it's only band uh, N71. I don't think it's aggregating with 66. There you go, 49 ping, one jitter. Yeah, that's N71 only. So that's uh, 28.4. And 4.48 on the up. All right, let's put her away. Now let's pull out AT&T on the Android this time. Let's see, maybe the cell edge of the S22 Ultra will help them. Why, why do you guys know why the icon doesn't show? the either the LT or the 5G icon on the AT&T for mm -hmm. oh we had a hiccup there that was a quick hiccup so you guys know why the icon messes up on the S22 series because I've even used an unlocked one. And when you put the SIM, the icon disappears. It'll show it for a little bit, but then it goes away. Which I don't get why. 
here make sure you guys are you let me make sure the stream is good mm -hmm. we'll see make sure the stream oh yeah it is uh the apn i don't know whatever the stock one is enhanced i think it is all right here's at&t lte 40 ping six jitter on the s22 ultra So 107 down. By 9.04 on the up. Now let's see what bands. Let's see what bands is AT&T working with here. Yeah, it is, Caleb. All right, let's see band 1210, band 220. So 30 megahertz of spectrum. So it's a two and 12 combo. And then the app crashed. <laughs> so right now it is 98 degrees where I'm at. All right. Let's grab the the Verizon Galaxy and then we can see what bands. Make sure it's on. Let's see here. Mod. Oh yeah, it is on automatic. Okay. Thirty ping, twenty four jitter. So 192 down. By 43.4 on the up. Now, let's check their band configuration. Okay, band 510, N7760, band 210, band 6610, band 6610. So 100 megahertz of spectrum. No, nah, it's a screen protector, dude. Oh, there you go. The speed test was 449 down and 52.6 on the up. Wow, that's some good good test, dude. Here, let's let's choose another server, dude. Server. I don't know why he chooses this. Let's see your automatic switch. There you go. 18 ping two jitter. Literally in the middle of nowhere. That's crazy, huh? So 456 down. And 53.6 up. Some good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let me grab the the T-Mobile Android. T-Mobile. Zero Cool's favorite place, T-Mobile. Another thing that I noticed too is, oh, that was my phone, okay. Uh, the other thing I noticed too is on the unlocked Android, it does not show uh, ultra capacity on the icon, on the unlock model for T-Mobile.
Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Hold on. Yeah, no ultra capacity. These nuts, bro. Let's see here. Okay, let's do a speed test. Oh, yeah, can I show that? That would have shown the number. That would have had the trolls calling me. All right, 31 ping, 10 jitter. Hey, this is not bad, this is not bad. It's better than AT&T at times. All right, 70.2. Oh, there goes wind. I don't know if you guys can hear the gusts. Is yeah, I just got first net. I'm so happy with it. Oh, nice. I got first net. It's okay. So 70.2 by 3.95. Now let's run another test and let's check the spectrum. The only thing I don't like about FirstNet is that depending on the Android you have is not friendly when it comes to Androids. Band 2, 15, band 71, 5, and that's it. So, not bad. So that's what, 20 megahertz of spectrum. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Interesting. I'm surprised there's no N71. What happened to N41? No, what happened to standalone? I got two lines with FirstNet, and uh, if you put it on the S22 Ultra and it's not an AT&T branded, it screws up the provisioning. It'll stay stuck on band 14 only, and it won't give you Wi-Fi calling or none of that. Oh, damn, that was a save. Okay, so hold on, guys. I had Somehow band 71 was disabled on the 5G. So let's see now, we enabled it. That's why I was looking, it was weird. Okay, so there you go. Now we got 71. All right, all right, all right. Let's retest this. I thought so, something didn't look right. All right, 23 ping, five jitter. So this is with N71. Um, 127 down. I think they do, bro. I think. Because I know when you buy when you buy a one for FirstNet, but it should change on its own. If you have an AT&T firmware one, it'll change to the FirstNet by on its own. So 127 down, 31.8 on the up. That's better. All right. Now let's see the spectrum. Okay, band 215, N7115, and then regular 71, 5. So that's 20, 35, 35 megahertz of spectrum. Oh, you, you, oh, you have a Verizon grandfathered unlimited plan? Nice, I, I got like, how many lines of those, dude? My first, uh, my first account, the, uh, the first sub level, that one I have 15 lines with that plan, with the uh, the old school unlimited. No, well, 13 are voice lines, and then no, 12 are voice lines. Sorry, 12 are voice lines. Then I got two jet packs, and then I got a tablet.
Damn, there you go. We can see this better here now. Look at that, guys. And then I got, dude, I got a lot of lines, bro. I got like a Boost. I got a Total Wireless. I got US Mobile, Xfinity Mobile. I got three lines. I got like eight Verizon lines that I use. No, seven that I use myself. Then AT&T. I got two lines. T-Mobile, I got three lines. Sprint, I have with the OG Sprint Sim, I got one line. And what else? Then I got the... The hotspot, I bring the hotspot modem with me. And then I got an enterprise, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of lines, dude. It's fucking too many. <laughs> what up, Jose? Five hotspot, five phone, one tablet. Oh, nice, bro. Dude, you got them all on the old grandfather plan. Did you get the ultra wide band on it feature? When they had the glitch, because I added it to all my lines, even if the phone had LT only device, the glitch still lets you add it. And now they don't charge the ten dollar add on anymore for the ultra wideband on the grandfather unlimited. It's just included now. If you got it. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah, because without it, you can't get ultra wideband on the old on the 2005 Unlimited. What does this say? Lighting the West. The cables buzzing above you and the steel towers climbing the scope of the river radiate from Hoover down like silver threads of a spider web. Even since the completion of the dam's original power number in 1937, lines emanated from here have played a critical role in transporting power cities hydroelectric yep. if you go in between them rocks are you gonna cut i don't know i guess we're about to find out <laughs> and yes we are i see this i see the signal hold on let me let me hold the hot spot in my hand maybe that'll help nope <laughs> oh, we're holding on. We're holding on. We're holding on. We're good. <laughs> we're good. It held up. Hiccup, but it held up. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised. Dude, the modem in this in this thing in my Orbic, good hotspot, dude. I, I have it at LTE only just because I don't like the 5G on on it. The battery kind of drains a little bit faster, but it's a good hotspot. When I started the stream, the battery was at 86%. I only lost 6% this whole time. It's not bad. Good battery life. Yeah, I should have brought more water with me. Oh, the M1000. I have, uh, I have the Insego uh, M2100 on another line. I like it, but the Orbic has better range. And the thing is about the Insego M2100 is it has N78, but it doesn't have N77. It's stupid. I don't, I don't know why, but they could turn it on if they wanted to. Probably with a software update, they will. But it has millimeter wave. And the Orbic has everything. It has N77, N48, N260, N261, so it has it all. And the antennas are freaking good on this, on this Orbic. And then over there, on top of there, that bridge, that bridge, that's I-11. Oh, 
I wonder if this takes me all the way down to Lake Mead. Hmm. I don't know, this is the first time I've taken this trail, so I, won't, I don't know where it goes. All I know is that I'm a few miles out. I'm already a couple miles in. <laughs> I say this trail's supposed to be, uh, what is it, five miles? So whatever I go here, I gotta walk back. <laughs> oh damn, Izzy, all right, have a good one, bro. Yeah, the good fellas trip, yeah, bro. But, Bury a hole in the desert, right, bro? We'll put a hole right there. <laughs> bro, they've been finding they've been finding bodies, bro, at the lake. Imagine when it gets lower, how many more are gonna start resurrecting, bro? It's crazy that one of them, they were able to ID it just by the shoes they had on. They're like, yup. This style shoe came out in 19, I think it was like 76 or something like that. So that's how long that body was there. Body was there for like 45, what, 44, 45 years. Crazy, man. Yeah, so bodies are gonna start resurrecting more. <laughs> Bro, you know what somebody's doing, guys? So this is the crazy thing. Is I, I was uh I was going through the IG and literally somebody is selling so where they found the body at that day, the the barrel. So somebody like scooped up like a big ass five gallon uh bucket of water and they're putting it in these little water vials and they're selling uh uh body water like dead body water for like 20 bucks. <laughs> That's just so funny. It has a, they put it with a label and everything. Shit, bro, and people are buying that shit like crazy, man. And that's one, the next one that resurrects, I'm gonna go there and grab some water from it, man. <laughs> I'm not joking, bro, look it up. I swear to you, bro, I'm not even playing. I wish I was joking. <laughs> bro, you can make money out of anything, bro. <laughs> look, I'll look, I'll I'll show you real quick. Let's see here. There you go, right here. Lake Mead corpse water, now for sale. See? It was on the news, bro. It'll, they'll show here a picture of it. There you go, that's what it is. Lake Mead corpse water. <laughs> oh. That's hilarious, man. Buy yourself some corpse water. <laughs> bro, you're, of course it's gross, bro. Imagine if you drink it, bro. <laughs> bro, it's been selling like crazy. That's what he was saying on the, on the news report. I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, that's a, that's a good, I mean, it's, it's crazy, bro. You got you can make money out of anything. Yeah, every time you open the faucet, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're literally drinking corpse water because you never know. There might be a corpse in, in your lake or your water's reclamation system in your local municipality. 
It's hilarious. Dude, the iPhone, the, the camera does with this app does justice. Wow, it looks so nice. I'm even amazed how nice it looks. Oh, I bet, TM, I've heard that, bro. You're not the first person that has said that. They're saying that water is bad, bro. They're saying that, bad is, that water is so bad, it'll give you the BGs, bro. You literally have the BGs. Take a nice picture, let's see. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow, this is a nice sidewalk here. This is pretty nice. Nice pavement. You know what's crazy is you could feel the coolness because it's not so dark. Because it's actual like sidewalk concrete. And it doesn't feel as hot. Because when I'm walking through the regular black tar pavement with the breeze blowing, you could feel like that that heat like under you and stuff it's crazy <laughs> Jason you're crazy bro <laughs> no man it's wild This here is dish working. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. 49 ping fight jitter. Look at dish. Not bad. Now it's getting the N66, so now it's getting all 30 megahertz of spectrum. There you go, 229 down. And 25.8, so 229 down, 25.8 on the upload. Dish. Um, I'm by Lake Mead. Just walking, just uh, walking the trail. What up, Josh? Walking the trail, MS, let's see here. We may not have good internet, but our water is so pure, the town doesn't even have to get it treated. Oh, nice. Yeah, TM. Bro, if you ever come out here, let me know, bro. It's nice out here, bro. I'd rather take this all day than anything in the east, bro. At least you don't have to deal with humidity. All right, let's do a test uh, dish hotspot. Oh yeah, I'm going to, Josh, I'm going to. All right, so let's see here. Ah, come on, phone don't trip on me. And there you go, it shows Amazon as the hotspot. Interesting, right? Is it gonna hotspot? Hold on, what the hell? Oh, oh, the phone is tripping, okay. Hold on a second there, there we go. I had a thing in the matrix there. Okay, there we go. 56 pain, 20 jitter. Eighty six down. This is on Fire Mobile's hotspot. <laughs> As Mr. Pete the Bearded Dragon would say, Fire Mobile. And 13.5 on the up. We'll do another one just to do it. 54 P, 14 jitter. 
Amazon. So 144 down. And 22 on the upload. So you get basically full speed on the hotspot. Oh, you start Amazon? Tomorrow, gotta slave away for this summer before school starts back up. Oh, you just work while you're off from school? It's not gonna be that bad, bro. If you just do it as seasonal, basically. All right. But yeah, bro, good luck on the new job, bro. It's Amazon, bro. Good old Amazonian. So it means I know when I order a package, it's coming from you, bro. So it means when it has a smashed, uh, when it's smashed inside the product, I'll be like, damn, Josh smashed it up. Like, I'm gonna return this shit. <laughs> Oh man, it would have been cool to bring the ATV and then go out right here on this trail. I wonder if they got fiber running through here. It looks like fiber, like fiber line. Huh. Yeah, bro, my package is smashed, bro. I know, I know it was you. <laughs> All right, 35 pin 3 drill on AT&T. Sixty nine point five on the down. And twelve point four on the up. Yeah, that's not bad pay, that's really good. It's really good. Let's see here. The T Mobile iPhone. Mm -hmm. All right, we got some UC. You seeing these nuts? Twenty four ping six jitter. Oh, good. Good job. Four twenty six down. And 30.7 on the up. I wonder where the tower is. Huh. Let's see here. Let me pull out the Android. Let's see cell mapper. We'll see where the tower is at. You know, since everybody maps T Mobile. Oh, it says Sprint. Band 41. Huh. So 
So this is a sprint tower. Yup, there it is right there. Band 25, 26, and then 41, so it's Sprint. Ha <laughs> ha, because I remember T-Mobile never used to have coverage here. Yup, 312, 250, 4110. Yup, I thought so. Damn. Huh, that's interesting. No, bro, they kind of confused it, uh, Jason. So 31.4 on 10 megahertz of, uh, yeah, 41. Um, there's some, somebody has like some sort of thing that you put on your, on your browser, some sort of, uh, that, uh, some color stuff and 3.73 on that. And literally it, uh, it makes it to where you're able to notice the difference between N77 and millimeter wave N26061. There's some sort of extension. Yeah, all you gotta do is put that extension plug in and you'll be good to go. And then you'll be uh, enjoying your uh, difference in coverage. Damn, I can hear rattlesnakes, dude. I literally hear it. There we go. Verizon, ultra wide band. How's it doing? See, three seventy four down. And forty seven point five on the up. Test it again. 16 ping, 3 jitter. Three ninety. So T-Mobile and Verizon are actually doing pretty damn good here. at and is the only one just rocks on the bottle. 46 up. Damn. Wow. You can literally see the planes with the flight plan going to Vegas. No AT&T works here, but it's just ass. little water time to park the dots in for the night oh damn mr. headset damn but thank you for the super chat bro appreciate you man have a good night bro hey yo text me bro I still got the same uh, the same one the, the when you called me like a couple months ago, text me. Cause I don't know, like, I, I think I have your number. I, I, I try to look in the contacts, but it, it's not popping up for some odd reason. Damn, there's literally four planes right there getting ready to go to the Vegas. I don't know if you guys can see the lights. It's starting to get dark. We're about almost three miles into this damn thing. It's 
crazy, man. All right, AT&T, here you go, Josh. 38 ping, seven jitter. Damn, I should have brought the ATV, dude, son of a. So 113. No, no, here it's working okay. So 113 by 17.4. Damn, I should have brought the, if I would have brought the damn ATV, I could have went there, dude. I could have went up the mountain. Damn, man. I plan to start pushing, uh, testing out millimeter wave on the old Z4 with the mod. Getting it for cheap, I wanna see how usable it is. Dude, I, I still have my Z4. I have the Z2 fours and the Z3 and four. I have them at my house still. And I have the Hasselblad mod, camera mod, the, the projector mod. I think I have two projector mods. So that was at the time the Verizon was giving it for free. Nah, they can eat a, they can eat a, a, a fat one. You know, Mr. Lavendi. <laughs> I know they're watching in here, bro. Mr. KFC and Mr. and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, cheap uh, Kroger whiskey. Nah, nah, Kroger vodka has to be the cheap. The cheap of the cheap. You know, because one. One looks like, like he has four, four, uh, four. He's uh, saying that I, saying that I have no neck and chin. One of them, one of them looks like he has uh, no neck and four chins. The other one is drunk as hell. Go, 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 go. Huh. Vodka in a plastic bottle. Damn, that's cheap. <laughs> Holy moly. Yes, Mr. Lavendi, I agree 100% with you on that. Uh, that three letters. Paper carton of vodka. Damn, bro, you really went cheap, cheap. Wow, that's cheap, cheap. Wow. Damn, that's that's messed up. <laughs> oh man, it's so peaceful out here, guys. Like literally. Everclear, oh wow, Ugh. Bro, I don't even like vodka, bro. Thing is nasty. Literally, you're better off drinking rubbing alcohol, bro, because that's basically the smell and taste of it. Oh, you have the Z2 Play? Oh, nice. Um, they've gotten better with support with, uh, with updates. I've been getting updates pretty frequently and it's the carriers too. That's unfortunately, this is what happens when you leave shit open to the carrier to, to do. Can you put the dish sim in an iPhone? Ah. Uh, it's being tested right now, but not on not on this line that I have right now, no. I can't do it right now. But it's but it but it is in the works, it's being tested. Oh damn, I see the police. You're 
stable is twitching. What do you mean? Oh, look, there's the police, guys. Look at that. The police. Do I really see the police? Damn, and then they're about to come right there. The good old police. There they are, there they are. Oh. Oh, my stabilizer is twitching. Oh, my bad, bro. My pixel is on 3G, for some reason on Fi. Really? Oh, I can hear the siren. Probably the motor's hot. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. This, uh, the, uh, the Osmo 5 sucks, dude. Should have kept my four. 15 down 0 0.5 up. That's actually pretty good, man. There we go, let's see if that helps. Oh, I see the police right there. Now they're up here. Two units. Oh, that's actually the the part the agro the US forest one. The how do you call that? The ones for for the reclam um the forestry service. So that means something happened probably they're going towards Hoover Dam. Maybe somebody's trying to threaten somebody or something, or maybe they're trying to blow it up or something. Shit. <laughs> Just drove through a new 3G only H and T area in Ohio. Damn! up with 3g only man it's almost eight o'clock wow literally it's almost eight o'clock and the sun is still up it'll be up for at least another 30 minutes look there's another one coming to another unit yep something happened over there oh yeah Huh. All right, I'll tell you, have a good one, man. Have a good night. Bro, I got to pull up the scanners, bro. Got to see what the hell's going on. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Nearby setting. There we go, park rangers. Let's see, let's hear, let's hear the damn scanner. Oh, and an ad. Beta one of iOS 16 is dropping juice. Say, you gonna get it? Shh, so why, I think, why not, right? Might as well try it. Does your T-Mobile line get service in that location? Eduardo, yes it does actually. Yes it does. Let's see, we're streaming right now. We got the scanners on right now. Let's see. See what's going on. Got LT back after resetting. Oh, nice. Bro, maybe. Damn, I hear hella rattlesnakes, dude. Holy crap. Yep, here's where the rattlesnakes get more and more intense. Are you outside Dish Native? No, I am not. We still have Dish Native here. Let's see here, we'll leave that streaming. Here, let me pull out the dish phone. Let me see. 
Let's check again. Does it have service? Yes, it does, or does it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, the 5G icon is kind of like not full white. We'll see. Because right now I have it forced on dish only. So it won't roam on AT&T at all. I have the roaming disabled. You know, the average person won't do that. They'll have it normal. There you go, okay. Well, there you go. 60p night jitter. Sixty-seven point seven. Damn, I can hear hella snakes, dude. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I hear that one. I heard that one. That one's snappy. Sixty-seven point seven by five point six two. Damn, I think I'm gonna start walking back, bro. Just cause I hear the rattlesnakes, dude. Like you can hear them. Like there's one. There's one somewhere right here. I keep roaming off, Jason. Yeah, I'm gonna start walking back, bro. There's too many. I can hear that shit, bro. I don't want to get stunned by no damn rattlesnake shit. If I would have brought my pistol with me, it would have been different. But do you have roaming on? No, I I keep it off because I want to. I'm testing out the actual like native native, you know. But it hands off smooth. If that's what you're looking at, like basically. I don't know, once I get back to the car or something, I can drive over the state line. Literally, state line is like five minutes. And then you can, it'll, can, it'll like, I can put it on a voice call too, so you can see how smooth it'll transition. It transitions really smooth. It, won't, it will not drop the call or nothing. You'll never even knew it switched over to, to AT&T. Only people like us notice because We'll do a speed test and and all that stuff to notice the pings are higher. But to the average person, they'll never know. No, I'm on the Nevada side right now. But dude, I hear those snakes, bro. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear them. And it's the rattle ones too, bro. It's those pesky rattlesnakes. Everybody's starting to leave at the, the lake. All that traffic starting to traffic starting to come there a little bit. Try stabbing them. Shit. <laughs> you underestimate how fast they are, bro. Just like Josh said, you gotta be fast to shoot them suckers. If not, you're screwed. Especially with rattlesnake, dude. Things bite you, bro, you're screwed. Dude, I keep hearing them, bro. Holy crap. Whew. As long as I stay on pavement, we're good. Now you can literally hear like them snapping the tail. You can hear that shit. <laughs> Fuck, bro. All right, Mr. Dotson headset. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here, let me unplug the mic. Let's see. All right, now it's on the iPhone mic. You're probably gonna hear the wind. Yo, what up, Josh? Heard something. Yeah, because the mic is like right here in front, you know. <laughs> I don't think, hold on, let's see here. How do you, I don't think I can do it on this app. Not while I'm on this app. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't give me the option. I know what you're talking about. It doesn't give me the option on this on this app. Oh shit. Let's see here. This one. No, not that one. Yeah. Yeah, no option. Sorry. Not while I'm using Streamlabs, I guess. But hold on, let me check my battery percentage. Oh, it's at 58, so we're good. Oh, it's right there. I don't know if you guys are able to hear. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, fuck that, bro. We out. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I hope you guys heard it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. They're all over the freaking joint here. <laughs> Let me plug the mic back into the wind. Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Back on the mic. Hey, Josh. P. Uh, Josh. Uh, Josh P. And Josh. PA Tech Josh. You guys were able to hear it? <laughs> Too many Joshes. Ah, Lee. Well, it was afternoon. Not anymore. What up, Greg? Uh. <laughs> oh damn, I heard that. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, I'm streaming on Verizon. Yeah, they still use keep sites, bro. What was it, a coyote? No, rattlesnake, bro. You didn't hear the damn rattle? Dude, I can hear it all around me right now, but I put the mic back on. But I can hear the rattling all around me right now. Ooh. It's uh
Did OG sprint work around those areas? Yup. Now, actually, I don't know if it's closed at night, bro. But it is getting night. And I'm almost out of water, too. Fuck. Reminds me of Arizona with all the rattlesnakes. Yup. Well, it's not that bad in Arizona, the rattlesnakes. I should have brought the speaker with me. Could have been bumping some music. Forgot. And I have it in this car too, the speaker with me. That's so dumb, I forgot it. I hear the cops, I hear the, oh, that's ambulance. Oh yeah, somebody got hurt. Only if it would rain. Look at those clouds, dude. Maybe it might rain over here by the Hoover Dam, or I mean the Lake Mead. It's getting pretty, oh. Oh man. Damn, I hear one right there. Oh my God, that sounded close. Ooh. What do you guys think about, it's almost, it's almost June 1st. You know what that means? It means Dish is about to uh, light up those markets, those 120 markets. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about that one? Hey Greg, you ain't lying either, Greg. <laughs> you know, you know better, bro. You've been here long enough with me, bro. You know. <laughs> oh, PA, you're seeing it? Nice. Helping for beta tests. Yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, just pay attention to the emails. Pay close attention to the, your emails. Greg, what does it matter? What does it matter about if it lights up in New York, bro? You're gonna be here soon anyway, so what does it matter? You only got like, what, a couple months. But if it does light up in New York, it'd be cool because you can at least get the test for a little bit. We need this in sack town. Yeah. I don't know, is, is Sacramento part one of the market? I think it was. Cause I know like San Francisco up there is getting it. <laughs> like a great guy. <laughs> the big sack, hosh. You've only seen sites in Modesto. You know, Modesto is Caleb's territory. He built that of Verizon back in uh, 
in 2016. And you see to this very day, Modesto Verizon's 100% score to this very day. He actually built it so good that it's been future proof for six years now. It's crazy. That's how future proof he built it. Six years later, still number one. 100% scores and shit. Oh shit, there's something right there on the road. I just saw it go in there. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> What flashlight, bro? I don't got no fucking flashlight with me. That shit's in the other car, as Greg would say. <laughs> shit. It actually is the one that they, I wear on my head. That one's in the, in the other car. <laughs> it's in the Beamer. <laughs> oh, shit. It's all right, bro. If I get bit or something, I got some water and I got my, and I got pain pills with me. So we're good. I'll be able to deal with the pain. <laughs> got a couple of perkies with me. So we'll be, we'll be good, bro. Be able to deal with the pain. There you go, there's a flashlight. The dish phone. <laughs> there we go. This is flash. Maybe if I put like four phones in, in a row with the flashlight on, we'll be getting enough light, right? Nah, I don't need it. <laughs> Pocket full? Damn, no, only, only like three. It's actually in my little bag that I have with me right here. My uh, my thing right here, my bag, it's right here. It's in here. Gotta always have it just in case. Let's see. It looks more on your guys' end, but here, you, I don't, oh. See, no light, light, no light, light. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> we'll take them out, bro. But a snake, I doubt it, bro. That ain't happening. <laughs> Yeah, it's finally getting dark. That's crazy. What time is it? Let's see here. 8.20. See, I told you guys it's around 8.30 when it gets dark here. It's going to take me at least another hour to get back. Woo. Maybe I might start jogging here in a sec. Crazy, crazy, man. Where the hell are the phones at? Let's just test a little bit. Yep, 
Yeah, here. This is facing east right there. That's Arizona, so east. And then this is west, going to Vegas right here. If I was in Vegas, the sun would still be brighter. Cause you could see the sun like right, how it's bright right there. And then there's the town. They got their lights on, ready to go. I wonder why the phone, ever since the update for iOS, uh, what is it, uh, 15.5, it disables 5G until you put load on it. It's weird. Yeah, don't update, bro. I messed up by updating. 320 down. Verizon Ultra Wideband. And 29.6. Let me try another server. Try switch. Seems like switch. Fifteen ping two jitter. See? Told you like switch. Four ninety nine down. By thirty five point one on the up. I don't know, bro. Next up, Josh. Damn, I heard that snake. Golly. Where the hell is that T-Mobile phone? Here, Verizon. In my case. Oh, did I put it in my pocket? Yeah, I did. I don't mess with no betas. <laughs> Where the hell is my iPhone, my my T-Mobile Android or iPhone? What the hell? Did I drop it? Oh no, here it is. I was like, damn. I was gonna say, oh well, it's lost. It is what it is. No, leave it at 1541. <laughs> if you're still there, come on, don't update it. Because with the 5G, it acts weird. 26 ping, a jitter, ultra capacity. <laughs> One fourteen down. By ten upload. Look at those planes. It's crazy. All right, let's grab Android for AT and T. Mm 
smell, but that's a Verizon Android. Really? 15.5.1? 15, uh, 15. Hmm. AT&T LT, 48 ping, 6 jitter. It's doing just as good as ultra capacity, huh? One forty three down. By eleven point three on the up. Damn, why the fuck am I? Let's see the 5G on. Oh no, it's not. I just put it in automatic. So their 5G was not on. Ooh. Ooh, I hear it. You guys don't hear the rattlesnake? Oh shit. Listen, I took the mic off. Oh, shit. I took the mic off. You guys didn't hear that shit? Woo! Woo! Oh, shit. Oh shit, I fucked up by not bringing my flashlight. <laughs> I know bro, I fucked up. And I still have about another mile, mile and a half, I think. Let's see here. Where the hell is the map? Map. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm a ways in, still a ways out. I'm parked like right around here. Whew. Damn. Bro, I hear shit in the bushes there. Oh shit. Bro, no, that's not a coyote, is it? Bro, I swear that that shit that shit was pretty big, dude. Hope that wasn't no fucking coyote. Shit, bro, I saw running, bro. I don't care if I drop this phone and break it, bro, and it breaks. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh shit. Nah, it's holding on, it's holding on. It's weird, it holds on one way, but the other way it doesn't.
Shit, yeah, bro, I'll knock his ass out, bro. <laughs> So I literally got to get to right there. Whew. As I say, not driving. Damn, it says 59 minutes walking. Oh shit, Doc. Dude, how much water do I got left? Let's see. Damn. This is how much water I got left. Literally a quarter bottle left. Damn. Shouldn't have drank that other one fast. on the snake. Damn. You need what? <laughs> and camp? Crazy. No, I'm not lost. Just trying to catch momentum. Hear the snakes. Holy shit. All right. All right. Okay, cool. There we go, that beat some of the journey. Let's see how much did I catch up on. Oh, look, so I was here, I was here. That's a quick sprint. That was a quick sprint.
Damn, Rick. We out here with the snakes, bro. Who knows if the coyotes are here? Fuck. Damn. We just sprinted a little bit there. At least I got me good momentum. Cause that uphill was a struggle. I know, bro, and I can hear them everywhere. I can hear the rattle everywhere around me. Fuck. You can tell a helicopter lands here. Oh, yeah. You got a helicopter that lands right here. Almost out of water too. Fuck. Well, it's a good market. Now you know where I'm at, bro. In case some shit happens. <laughs> Let's see where's the water, and then maybe I'll start sprinting again. <laughs> I'm at the plus sign. Some random trail. <laughs> I got water, bro, but I'm almost out. I drank the the whole other bottle earlier. I brought two. And I'm done with the last one. I got a quarter left. No, no fight you plus, it's fight you minus. For ATT. You can see the planes. Taking off from Vegas, and there's another one up there. Uh. Yeah, hold on, let me just catch my breath a little bit more. Bro, I jogged, I literally, I, I sprinted up that fucking hill. Damn, the hill was steep. Ooh. See, what is it? Are you ultra wide lens? Uh, no, I'm on regular lens, bro. Let's see here. This is ultra wide lens right here. That is. So let me put it back on normal. Back. There you go. Yeah, it's dark. It's peaceful though. This is how it is in the desert. Nice and peaceful. All right, let me pull out this. Where's the dish one right here? I could turn off this light real quick. Look, right when I turn off the light. Damn. I can actually see better with the light off. I'll just leave it off for now because I can see better. Forty-nine ping. Thirty-four point eight. 
by 11.9. Yeah, it's a native. Oh shit, I heard that. Oh, that's another snake. Golly. to the point if I did lose a phone fuck it that shit can stay out here so we got insurance for fuck that dude the iPhone flashlight is way brighter than the S22 flashlight and the S22 Ultras look at that way brighter Yeah, bro, you can hear the rattlesnakes, bro. Shit ain't no joke. There you go, 15 pink, 13 jitter, Verizon. Ultra wide band. At least I got ultra wide band in the desert, right? Three ninety four down. My four point two five. Ah, uh, yeah. From what I know of, yeah. Here, hold on, let's pull it out. Yeah, level five. Bro, what are you talking about, Caleb? I'm walking. What airbag, bro? 33 ping 5 jitter AT&T huh. 10.2 down Oh air tag Oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, I got an air tag in the car. I forgot about that. Point eighty six. I forgot my backpack has an air tag in it. That's in the car. Look, somebody's using amber headlights or yellow headlights. That's funny. Hold on, let me let me see how exactly. That's AT&T for you, bro. I forgot about the air tags, dude. Items. Damn. I'm still 1.1 miles away. Shit. 
see? Damn. I'm not driving, I'm walking, you fucking GPS. And there you go, that's, that's how far I am from my backpack where my car's at. Oh shit, <laughs> I walked off the road, damn. Damn. Oh, cock a doodle do. <laughs> cock a doodle do man so another mod to go T-Mobile, man. And 3.53 on the up. Bro, I'll jump that shit. Huh. Hell no. Nah. I'll jump that, that gate. It's crazy, man. I can't believe I walked out that far so late. This is why I need to like, if I'm gonna do some crazy shit like this, I need to stream earlier. <laughs> oh, really? Damn, that's not stuff. Oh, the entrance to my car? Damn, dude. Um, I do got a strap in the back. We will be tying it to the back of the tow hook and breaking the lock. <laughs> I, do got a, I do got a tow strap in the back, so we will break the lock. The lock picks. <laughs> yeah, it's any other car. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, there's somebody here. There's literally somebody here. What the fuck? Oh, they're walking with a flashlight. What the hell? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, bro, they're catching up. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. That should be the guy. Oh no, they're getting closer. <laughs> no, they're fucking, their flashlight's actually helping me, bro. I can see good with their flashlights. Are we Gucci? <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. I know, right, Lewindy? Well, they're getting closer. <laughs> oh, damn, battery hit 20%. No, they got a bike. <laughs> Yep, I'm not the last person in the trail, but he has a bike. <laughs> I don't have a bike, bro. It's called walking, bro. It's walking. Ha <laughs> ha. I nearly ran into a buffalo <laughs> with a rented Ford Expedition. Oh shit, that would have been all bad. <laughs> oh damn, <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, guys, you guys are funny. I'm literally at 20% battery. My gimbal's at the last dot. Let me pull out the charger. We do got charger, so. Let's see here. <laughs> I can't go to bed. I'm working at McDonald's. Oh, damn. Let's see. It only has one USB port. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought this one had two. So, which one do we choose to charge? Uh, we'll charge the phone for a little bit. <clears throat> The gimbals are like one dot. One dot will last about a half an hour to an hour. Okay, so that means I'm not going to be using the mic anymore since I got a plug. Oh no. Oh no, I got the damn adapter with me. Never mind. We came prepared. We came prepared. We got the dual plug. <laughs> Let's see here. All right.
Okay. Uh oh. I gotta try to wait. Gotta put it a little bit more this way. There you go. I forgot you gotta readjust for weight. Okay, now we charge the phone. Where's the plastic? Hold on, it's gonna dunk for a second just because I'm untangling the cable for the charger. There we go. No, I got, I'm using the mic again, the external mic. All right. Damn it, come on, start charging. All right, there we go. Charging, check. Oh my God. There we go. Turn up the mic level on the receiver. How about there? Is that better? How about there, is that better? Test, test, a little more. Uh, yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on, is everybody doing all right? Are the levels good, are they bad? Yeah, a bit more. Okay, how about right there? Are we better? Is it worse, good, worse? Which way about it? Tricking if you got it. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yeah, the iPhone mic is louder, but then you guys will hear all the wind. All right, cool. So we're good now. That's crazy by changing the adapter it really makes that much of a difference in the way it transmits the audio. That's weird. I would not have, have suspected that. Uh-oh, the gimbal's flashing too. It's almost dead. Oh, shit. Everything's almost dead. <laughs> and the damn charger I brought with me only has one USB-A. Ain't that a... Let's see, how, how, how's the battery on the iPhone? Let's see. We're at 21% now. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it about three more, four more minutes of charge. Well, I could change to my Pro Max. I could literally like, and like not, not end the stream, but end it to where it'll pause it here and then go on my other iPhone real quick because my Pro Max probably has more battery. Let's see here. Yeah, the Pro Max is at 91%. US Cellular. I see the parking area, but it's so far. But it seems so close, but so far. <laughs> yeah, it's lighter on the gimbal. 
because then if I put it with the dongle, it it it, it doesn't it ends up like jittering. Let's see, let's turn off the light. Oh shit. There you go, I can see now. It takes a second for your eyes to adjust. Yep, sure it does. If I would have brought a USB-C cable and an A, I could have charged both. Like a C to C and then a A to lightning. I know I do got the MagSafe battery pack in my backpack, but that's in the car, as Greg would say. At least it's not in the other car, but it's in the car. That is so weird that it's on LTE and then it goes to ultra wideband. That is so stupid. Four ninety three on the down. And then thirty seven point seven. That's five G on. those houses, those mansions, that's crazy. Wow, the screen is so bright on this Motorola, holy crap. Fifty ping for jitter. The dish. Seventy point four. Oh, I just walked out of the trail. Yep. By twenty nine point nine. Let's see. Oh wow, the motor's flashlight's hella bright. Damn. Man, this shit is hella bright. Off. Oh yeah, big difference. I like how you can just shake it off, on. Yeah, the moto light is way better, dude. Way better than the iPhone and the damn S22 Ultra flight. Shit, it's bright as hell. All right, let me see the battery strength here on the iPhone. 30%, all right. Let me unplug this and plug in the, the gimbal. The gimbal needs charge. Bad.
Yeah, the shape feature is nice, man. Moto didn't know how to put a touch on, on some of those little features like that. Oh yeah, the back tab. Oh yeah, you can do that with the iPhone. I forgot about the gesture tab. Crazy guys, can't believe I'm here. I'm damn. Dang. Let's plug this gimbal in. Cause bones, real quick. <laughs> Buffering and his back. How T Mobile do? All right, hold on. Shit. This area right here where I'm at is like hella dark. The light actually helps. Let me grab T Mobile. Or is that, or is that dog? No, I hear. I... One day I forget to bring my damn pistol on me. Son of a... Oh yeah, that was a coyote, all right. Dude, I can see the eye reflection, oh shit. Dude, I literally saw the eye reflection in the desert. Oh, fuck. That really is a coyote.
What strobe light, bro? Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. <clears throat> I'll throw the T-Mobile phone at him. Fuck. I don't know how close I am, bro. I hope I'm close, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some water right now, get ready just in case I have to sprint. That's the last of my water. Fuck. Gimbal, don't know. Bro, I can literally see the glowing eyes, bro. Over there. You can literally see the glowing eye. Fuck. There it goes. Fucking crazy, dude. I don't know, bro. Hold on, let me pull up the GPS. I'm close, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. No shit, I still got like a sore thumb. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying just to talk quiet, dude. I'm not trying to attract attention right now. I think I should be there soon. I'm close, yeah, I'm close. Okay, cool. Okay, low power, I know. I know it's low power. I don't even have my Apple Watch on me today. I think I left it. At home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bless the high pit sun and they'll come after my ass. No, I think we're here. I think we're almost here. So I remember this building. 
I remember when I first came to that building. Hey, Kazi, thank you. Oh, Shannon, guys, thank you. Whatever you do, don't call 911 on T-Mobile. Hell no, bro. They're gonna be like, sir, we cannot hear you. Sir, what are you trying to say? Okay, yeah, I see, okay, I see. I see the parking lot, okay, cool, I'm here. Thank God, dude, fucking coyotes, bro. Jeez, Louise. Hell yeah, bro. Hell no, you cannot call 911 on Metro. They're gonna be like, Uh, sir, we cannot understand you. We hear all the static in the background. Can you please repeat your emergency? We made it. Oh my God, we made it. As long as it's AT&T boost, yeah. Look at that, there's a plane right up there. Look at that plane. Oh my God, I heard that again. We in. <laughs> Did you guys hear the coyotes again? Oh my God. Holy shit. Dude, that shit was loud and clear, bro. You heard or whatever the fuck. Thank you, Josh. Hold on, let me uh, let me turn up the the gimbal. There we go. Well, let me put this down real quick. Let me get situated here. Oh my God, dude, that's funny, that's the coyotes, man, holy moly. Oh, damn, I forgot the mic was on the bag, my bad, guys, my bad. Uh, I forgot I had the mic strapped to the bag, whoops, sorry about that loud noise. Coyotes, bro. Laser. GPS connected. Tom, Tom, the coyotes are real, bro. They're about to take my ass out. And I was gonna tell the coyotes to get your ass too, Tom, Tom. Oh 
my god that's crazy guys wow straight up coyotes man Shit. oh the t-mobile home internet's powering up we literally got the t-mobile home internet with us the arcadia the arcadian Oh, wow. Damn, guys, that shit was crazy, man. Straight up coyotes, man. Whew. Test it. I got you, bro. It's booting up right now. I know, bro. I, I hope I hope Mr. Mr. Elon is listening to to all of us bro and brings back uh the twitter the periscopes bro that shit was cool mr elon or as uh, chase would say it fucking elon uh there we go okay so all right let's test the carriers i got you oh Hold on, guys. I got to go grab a drink real quick, dude. We'll test the carriers at the gas station, bro. I got to grab a drink. Oh, my God. Not this fucking shit again, dude. Oh, are you serious? The power steering again? Oh, my God. You know, power steering is not working again. Oh, well. That's why I hate all this electric shit. Fuck. I don't know why they had to fucking make it electric instead of having a pump and, and a couple hoses, man, and fluid. <sighs> well, bro, like... <sighs> it is what it is, electric shit, man. It lasted a long time, though, so fuck it. Yeah, I know. Put a paper clip. Nah, bro. It's this one. It's been good, bro. I got almost 140 on it, bro. This is the first major problem I ever had. But that's because I I I, I do a lot of auto crossing and road coursing. That's why that's why I'm surprised that it lasted this long, especially with me taking turns on like 90, you know, 100 and shit, bro. Like I'm surprised. But it's not even that bad. This car's small and light. So, man, uh, plus manual, this manual steering actually feels better. Fuck the power shit. I actually might not even fix it, bro. This actually feels good. It's nice and tight. Cause I took it out of the case to, cause you got to take it out of the case to put it on the on the mount. Let me put the case back. Uh, it's not that bad. See, cause with the case now it's fine. See, it holds up. Oh well. Oh well. What can you do? Just buy another one. I think I got Apple Care in it anyway, so we're good. Apple Care will replace it. The trick is, is you slam it on the ground hard so the modem won't read the SIM card no more and they just give you a whole new one.
both. The back just a little bit, but the front, it went through the glass protector a little bit. It's not too bad. Oh uh, no, I gotta be good. No Pepsi, no Pepsi. I gotta be good, Sprite. I'm actually doing good and not drinking Pepsi. Here, I'll grab two of these. Deserve it. No, no Pepsi, dude. Actually, yeah, no Pepsi, and then I need water. I know, bro, but what can you do, man? So it's anyways, I already got a, they got a, uh, how do you call it? Finished putting my implants in in 60 days. So we're good, I don't even care. I already got the anchors put in, so we're good. What happens when you have bad stomach uh, reflex issues? No, I left the hotspot in the car. Oh shit. Fuck. My bad, guys. I, I left the hotspot in the car. That's why. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine, honey. It's the damn IT guys. You got so damn many questions. Yeah, they do, but. And it Flip from do you want cash back to do transaction so fast people don't see it. All right, thank you. Hey, sorry about that. I accidentally left the hotspot in the car. That's why I fucking, it was cutting out. Yeah, my bad. Ugh. Accidentally left the hotspot in here, you see? That's why. So, damn, I just got a text, dude. They're trying to buy my house. Hi, we're reaching out. Substantial blazing an offer on your property. I tried contacting you last night. Appears I miss you. You're curious about selling your house. Yeah. Sell my house. Fuck it. Yes, metal floor mats, uh, Tom Tom. GPS connected. No, I ain't gonna say, I get texts all the time for that shit, bro. I got letters mailed to me all the time. Yeah, Tom Tom, I got I got metal floor mats, bro. Literally. Metal. Pinocchio couldn't afford my house, bro. Not even he's not even enough monopoly money to be able to afford it. Oh my god, dude. All right, let's test the let, let me test the networks here since I told y'all I would. All right. Dish. Dish this 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 this. So 56.9 Yosemite Sam.
cock-a-doodle-doo. Let's plug in the charger. So the phone charges. If not, the phone's going to die again on us. So 56.9 by 31.5. He needs a loan. I need to hook him up. But he but already has bad credit now. Who needs a loan? Hold on. Let me try to reset this shit real quick. Let me see. Maybe resetting the damn power steering thing would help. I think ever since my... Do you guys think the hum... Maybe the Ver, maybe the Verizon hum because I, I use one of these and I think maybe this ever since it got the update my car's power steering has been acting funny the electric power steering I think this shit might be bad I don't know let's see here we're gonna see what pops up where the hell's my phone oh right here. No, I got something better than that, Josh. There we go. Let's see here. I got this, bro. Let's see here. This tool really helps. Hi, hey, Carly. Yeah, hi, Carly. Does the wife know about Carly? Yeah, the dongle. It's <laughs> all Carly is. Let's see here. Here it is, right here. Yep. Search. Yep. Electronic power steering failure. Yep. Clear. Hell no, tripping. Close. Footwell, what is this? Bottom two side markers. Oh, side markers burnt out. Ooh, the light bulb. Ooh, wow. Okay, what else? Rear motor, rear blower left. I don't have no rear blower. Why the fuck would it bring that up? Okay, whatever. This is a two-seater. What the fuck? Engine, I already know about this one. This is because since I coded, since my ECU is tuned, it doesn't, it can't read the chassis number because it has a tune. So I already know about that one. That's done. Tire pressure control timed out. Oh yeah, this is because of the the power steering. Okay, clear. Why would I have a rear blower? I don't even have back seats, bro. Look. Literally, no back seat. So why the hell will I have a rear blower? Okay, there you go. Done. That one I don't care about because I already know that's because my car's tuned. Okay, now let's see if the electronic power steering works. Nope. Yeah, it's done. 
Nope. And there's the code. Nope. Damn. Let me try one more time clearing it. That sucks. It did earlier. Oh, really, Greg? Damn, this sucks. See, it came back. Yep. Clear. Nope. Yeah, it's fucking done. It, it's either that or the key, because the battery is dead on the key. No. Nope. Oh well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna diagnose tonight. I'm gonna put the other key, I'm gonna use my other spare key, and I'm gonna see if that's the problem, because I was reading online too, if the battery on the key's fucked up, like if it's going out, It'll cost a CAS module to not read the key properly, and then it won't unlock the steering the steering column. And I think that's what's going on. It's not like unlocking the power steering. Because or else if the motor was out, it wouldn't be working sometimes. It's gotta be the key. Let's see here, try one more time. Yeah. Oh well. All right, let's test every, Let's test this shit real quick. Laser. GPS connected. What fluid, Greg? All right. Oh, it's testing on the, on the, oh, there you go. See, look, the power steering's working now. See, started working. There you go. Yep. Yeah, it's gotta be the key. It's the fucking key. It's the fucking key, cause now it's reading the chip and the key. That's what it is. It's cause the battery and the, and the key is dying. Hold on, what internet is this? Oh, this is the hum. This is the speed test on the hum. So that's what it is. So I need I need to start carrying the other, I need to start bringing the other key with me. This key, the, the only thing that sucks is these keys are rechargeable remotes. So when you stick it in the in the fob in the hole, it recharges the battery. So once it goes bad, it goes bad. So Verizon LTE forty five point one. Hey K Joe, what's up? By eight point four one Verizon. All right, let's get AT and T. 
we're gonna put the SIM card back in the. I'm gonna take the Xfinity Mobile SIM out. Hold on, let me uh, let me put the AT&T SIM back in from Xfinity Mobile, and we'll test that because I know Josh likes uh, likes AT&T. I know, Greg. I wish it was just the. If if my if my mini had the the how do you call it the the automatic the little button on the door that you can push to unlock the door if it would have that then then it would have the the removable key but since this one has comfort control access then that's why the key is built in the battery the re, it has a rechargeable battery but it lasted since 2013 that's a long time shit. Uh, I can't complain since 2013 and it just started dying. It's actually really good. Why AT&T, every time I put the SIM card in, it says no SIM. I have to like take it out and then put it back in. It only happens with an AT&T SIM. There we go. Now it works. All right, there we go. AT&T low band 5G. Hundred nineteen by thirteen point eight on the up. Here, we'll test it again just to make sure. Really? You've had that many? Wow. They're like, no, we need the ones with the less gold. So it's about the same speed. Wow, that's pretty consistent. One ten by thirteen point seven. That's actually not bad. All right, LTE. Let's see. Oh, really? Thirty P sixteen there. That's LTE. I never knew they had business sims. What the hell? Wow, that's something new. 143 by 9.80. Oh, shit, the air horn. How about, how about, uh, T-Mobile? How about T-Mobile? They got UC. You seen this nuts? Oh, you saw something about a business sim? Okay. I'm about to check that out. 376. How do I get that? 
Oh, it's on Wi-Fi. Oh, shit. Yeah, the Arcadia. Arcadian, baby. Side, K A band, thirty four, seven, one, zero. Seventeen pink, seven jitter. There you go, three ninety three. Right, thirty five point nine. Let's turn it on. Let's see here. Here, I'm gonna put the arc. Oh no, where's the Arcadia? There you go. You guys can see there's the Arcadia. The Arcadian. There you go. Alright. Eighteen pink three jitter. Three oh seven down. And 52.4 on the up, on the Arcadian. We literally have the Arcadian in the car, dude. It's crazy, huh? LG Thin Q74, what? I arrived. <laughs> See, there you guys go, the Arcadian. Imagine live streaming on T-Mobile. Oof. Oof. What time is it right now? Let's see, 9.50. I could go to the middle of the Arizona desert. I know I got a lot of, a lot of Wi-Fi hotspots, dude, fucking crazy. Maybe I should go to the middle of nowhere right now and test ultra wideband like in the Arizona desert. Maybe, huh? What do you guys think? Does anyone here have an LG wing? I have an LG wing still. It's a Verizon one. And it gets N77 too. I got the update for the N77. a software update I have an AT&T LG wing 5G oh really I don't know I mean you know AT&T man let's get the heck out of here Grandmother house. Oh well, we sold it yesterday. Oh damn, still on the house. Seven 
selling the house. Really? You've had faster LTE? No way. I know the wing the wing was pretty cool man the chicken wing literally it's like a chicken wing bro you break it when you open it, it's like breaking a wing in half my tower upload my home site fast fast as ATT I've seen that's not LA. Damn. How fast, Josh? on LT, that's not bad, dude. Oh, really? You still use the, the V60? Wow. I could go either way, bro. ATT needs to bring some LT fans over to NR. Yeah, they do. You would think that they would have by now. Damn, the police. Damn, two cop cars just to get one person. That's crazy. It's just a woman, too. Harassment, as, harassment at the finest. Literally just a 10 by 10 channel is huge for speeds. Yeah. Bro, remember, remember by the Hoover Dam, that band 13 only sat when I got 70 megs down? 
That shit was crazy. It was like 70 megs by like 30 up. It was wild. And it was only band 13 only. Die. AT and T needs to DSS all their bands. Oh my God! Talk about DSS, Jesus. Get that fake 5G. There you guys go. You see, Dish even has coverage here. Yeah, it might not be fast right here, but it's native coverage. That's a bad handoff right there. Yeah, that was a that was a bad tower. Oh yeah, negative twenty sinar. Oh, yeah, I got, I got to jot that down. Well, it was a, it was an interchange. Let's see here. Let me change the server real quick. Oh my god, change the server. There you go. Interesting. Four down, but 32 up. Ah, uh, there we go. One thirty three down. By twenty three point five. Alright, 
you guys want to see a single or a single? There you go, 55.3 by 50.3 on single mode. That's on dish. Let me uh, let me set this up on the dash mount here real quick. Uh, oh, let me merge. Why is my Oh, 5G Plus! Oh shit! This is new! Forty-two ping night jitter. That's new, that's some new 5G Plus! So 171 by 26.4. Yes, YG minus. Let's test it again. This seatbelt on. There we go. I don't know where the tower is at. IG Plus. Wow, that's horrible, dude. That's cross tower, dude.
the bus, bro. Nah, AT&T does, does cross tower, dude. You want to know why? Because the AT&T tower is right here. I'll go to it right now. It's in the same parking lot. It's cross tower, I can tell. So look. Every carrier is guilty of the cross tower bullshit. I got two of them, bro. So here's your tower right here. AT&T in the bottom, T-Mobile in the middle, Dish on the top. There you go. There's your tower right here. Yep, got one on the top here too. So yeah, it's cross tower. Cause look, it's full signal for LTE here. All right, we know it doesn't have N77 here, but we'll get an N77. See, N77, boom. Well, let me put it back on the regular camera. The ultra wide too much. See, 5G plus. It's cro it's uh cross cross tower. That's a cross tower contamination. Oh no, bro. Three months in a row. The guy, the dude did it for what? Three months? This is his third month. Dish, 204 down, 31.7 up. Wow. Yeah, Lavendi, it's a uh, it's, uh, cock a doodle do, bro. But all carriers are guilty with it. It's not just Verizon. All of them are guilty, dude. I've gotten letters from T-Mobile. I've gotten letters from AT&T. So all the carriers are the same. Guilty, guilty, guilty. You see? You see how it says ultra capacity right there? There's no ultra capacity on this tower. See? Cross tower. There, there is dish. Ooh. T-Mobile, at t Nah, dish won't. Hell no, bro. This is dish already said, bro. Straight, full unlimited, no BS. And their LTE does way better. A 
like I said, 5G deflator. <laughs> 5G deflator. What the hell just happened to the upload? So 3.30. Wow, what happened? Wow. Boo. Boo. How do I know if I'm even getting AT&T 5G Plus, dude? Well, that's gotta be it. Oh no, that's N5. the hell is only on LTE now? Are you serious? Front KA band 34 7. What the hell's going on with AT&T, bro? Bro, what the hell is going on, bro? No, it's not. I put it on the other phone too, Josh. It does the same shit. This is not an unlocked one. This is AT&T firmware. This is how... It's 90 degrees out right now, bro. 90. 90. Let's see here. Refresh. 90. Well, I have it on. This is an eight. Look, just so you guys see. All right. Hold on. All right. Good night, Greg. You guys will see right here. This is literally CAT&T branded. And there goes the icon. The icon disappears.
I tried it on the unlock one, same shit. It is on next gen. AT&T enhanced. Let me go here. Oh, the logo's here. The logo is here. What the hell? Wow. 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 It's not overheating, bro. It's nice and cool. I got the AC here. I'll put the AC on. Don't worry, I got you. Service mode. All right, so. Let's <laughs> oh, we got a 5G icon. Oh, shit. We got icon action. Nope, it prefers N5 on this phone. I technically can. Hold on. I got to take the sim out and do all that bullshit. Hold on. You got to turn up. You got to take off the sim, reboot the phone. Nah, oh, bro. There's a way. When there's a will, there's a way. When there's a do, there's a what. When there's a what, there's a where. As I like to tell Greg. And when there's a it, there's a where. All right. So you take your SIM card out, right? All right. You reboot. You reboot fun. Okay. Fun reboot. Make sure SIM card is out. ATT. There we go. We enter passcode. And then you do this. And 
There you go. You have band select. Now you take away N5. N77. But you know what's crazy, guys? Look at what's available. NR41 on the AT&T firmware. Why is band 41 available on the AT&T firmware? Apple blocked ICC ID soft unlocking phones. What the hell? What do you mean ICC ID soft unlocking? There we go. And then after that, you put SIM in. And there you go. And then after that, if you want to change again, it's blocked. The speed test is. Let's see. Oh, the R sim. Okay, 5G plus. There you go. Where the hell is the damn 5G plus? Where is the 5G plus? This is bullshit. Oh, it crashed, it crashed. Oh, there you go, cross tower, negative 111 and 7740 megahertz, there you go. Oh, those SIM cards. I know what you're talking about, Josh. So there you go. Two fifty nine by nineteen point three. You make no more money. You became a broke bitch. There you go, 179 down. That's your N77 for AT&T, guys. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Why do I even have the AC on still? I don't know. Wow. Wow, AT&T. Wow, bloody mega earth is so nice. Wow, Okay, here. Even Bryce is guilty of it. God damn.
there you go, 86.9 by 14.5. Another cross tower connection. That's that cross tower bullshit, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I'll just stick to this. I'll just stick to that. 318 down. I was I downloaded a movie that Caleb sent me yesterday. And 27.6. I and I was downloading it on T-Mobile and it kept crashing. Every time I was downloading it, it'd be like at 50%, 60% done and it crashed. I downloaded it on Dish and it downloaded. Oh no! Why is this new speed test app you can't speed test right away? Why is that? Why is this speed test app so broken? See? It's so broken. So 308 by 27.3. Yeah. I'll take that all day. There you go. Oh, really? Nice. All right. I'm out, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys are amazing. But I'm about to call it a night. I got. I still got a ways to get home. And, yeah, probably will do something tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the super chats and, and the memberships. Appreciate you all. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing... Um, Got to announce the two winners for the members for the members only uh, giveaway. So stay tuned for that too, guys. Thank you, appreciate y'all, and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.